A Maltipoo is a cross between a Maltese and a toy or miniature poodle. They can inherit characteristics from either parent, but usually have a slightly scruffy, white or cream, coat, and an affectionate temperament. Maltipoos are great companion dogs, and love to be together. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Multipoo appearance. The appearance of a crossbreed dog is never entirely predictable. Your pup may look like a poodle, or a Maltese, or any combination of the two. You won't be able to predict your Maltipoo's adult size. But you can guess that it will be somewhere between the maximum and minimum heights of their parents. Is the Maltipoo hypoallergenic? The Maltipoo's coat is medium to long in length, with a soft, fluffy texture and some degree of wave or curl, depending on what it inherits. One of the main goals of crossing poodles with other breeds is to create a dog that's good for people with allergies. First the bad news there is no such thing as a 100% hypoallergenic dog. Most pet allergies are due to dander dead skin flakes not any particular kind of fur. Multipoo temperament. The Maltipoo is well known as a sweet and loving companion animal. Both Poodles and Maltese dogs are known for their engaging and charming personalities. With the Poodle getting high marks for smarts and the Maltese for affection. Being a mix, your puppy could grow up to be more like her Poodle ancestors. Or more like her Maltese ones. As with any crossbreed the outcome is not predictable. So you need to be certain that you love both Poodle and Maltese temperaments before you choose this puppy. Training and exercising your Maltipoo. A Maltipoo's puppyhood lasts until he is one year old. Start house training your puppy right away. Other forms of socialization and training can start early too. The most common behavioral problems you will want to focus on are barking, separation anxiety, and jumping. Socialization will help to avoid any unwanted aggression towards other dogs and people. Exercise needs. To stay happy and healthy, the Maltipoo will need regular exercise. Their small size can mean they seem suitable for smaller homes, but even a dog this small needs the opportunity to stretch its legs. Make sure your pup gets outside for a walk, run, or some busy training games, on a daily basis. Maltipoo Health and Care There is a wide belief that crossbred dogs are automatically more healthy than purebred dogs. But nature isn't quite so simple. Regular mixing of genes will definitely make our dogs healthier as a group, in the long run. But a first-generation cross like a Maltipoo may be at risk of inheriting health problems from both its parents. Here are some health problems that includes mitral valve disease, necrotizing meningoencephalitis, idiopathic epilepsy, progressive retinal atrophy and luxating patella. A Maltese Poodle mix has the potential to inherit health problems from both or either parent. Some of these problems may be reduced by mixing genetics with another breed but this isn't guaranteed. Make sure the parents have had all the usual health tests recommended for their breed, before purchasing a pup. What is the Maltipoo life expectancy? The average life expectancy of a Maltese is 12 years. For miniature poodles, the average lifespan is 14 years and for toy poodles it's 13 years. Maltipoos are generally given a range of between 10 and 15 years, with 12 to 13 years often listed as the average lifespan of a Maltipoo. Do Maltipoos make good family pets? These chasmatic, intelligent little dogs will thrive in an environment where someone is around for much of the day. 
With owners who are committed to training, socialization and regular exercise, as well as a whole lots of love. You will need to make sure you find a good breeder, that health tests their stock. And would be advised to go for a miniature rather than toy mix, as they are less likely to be so small and fragile. Multi-poo personality can be as gorgeous as their appearance, and these lovely little dogs can make wonderful pets. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.